How's it going guys and welcome back to Monster Angling. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope you guys had a great Christmas and New Year and I hope you guys are out to do some fishing. Um, it's been a while and I took a little bit of a break on the Christmas break just to take some time, a little bit of time off, get out fishing, just hang out with the family. I really, I've been pretty busy um, and it was just good to take some time off but I'm back and I'm super excited to show you a little project I've been working on and I hope you guys enjoy. So I went out to a super clear reservoir in Saskatchewan. Um, and if you don't know, a lot of the lakes in Southern Saskatchewan are pretty dirty. So I picked this one in particular because there's a lot of fish in it and the water is clean. And you'll see why in a second. So I've had an aqua view. I've had it for about two years and it's just kind of been sitting in my room. And I thought, well, I haven't made a video with it yet. So I'm gonna take it out and get some sick underwater footage. So that's exactly what I did. And we went out and the fish were absolutely stacked on the camera guys. And it was so cool to watch the fish and how they react. And you can learn a lot from an underwater camera. So that's kind of the point of this video, kind of teaching you guys. I thought it was a really cool example, especially considering how many fish were down there. Like it just worked out perfectly. So I'm gonna keep this intro short and sweet and I'll see you guys actually after and I'll explain a bit more kind of what I was using, all that stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys after. Bye bye. Loose. He's not big. Don't worry. Jesus, that was hilarious. My drag was so loose. That was embarrassing, guys. That was cool. Well, there's the first fish of the day. Not a big one, but that's probably going to be kind of what today's going to look like. A lot of those fish, maybe a couple bigger ones. Who knows? But, um, buddy, go down. There he goes. Okay, Ooh, that's a better one on the screen there. No, oh, maybe not, maybe just close. I think so. If I get a bit overexcited, guys, it's cause some fish, when they come in, they look a little bit bigger, so. You know, I might get overexcited, but uh, that's fishing. Fishing should be exciting. There's fish on me, look at that. Look at that. Try to bring him up here. Are you kidding me? So cool, they're fighting over. There's so many aggressive fish in here right now, guys. That's so crazy. Look at him. Eat it up. He didn't eat it very well. I'm gonna drop down the sand here. Unbelievable. Got him. Ho oh, ho! That's so cool. He's not big, but. Number two and. on the maggots. <laughs> They're all trying to eat out of the mud. That's funny. Come on, come on. Got him. That's a better fish, guys. That's a, yep, that's a big fish. Bigger. Never mind. It's an upgrade, people. Upgrades, look how tall that thing is. He's gonna be a jumbo one day, maybe. See you later, buddy. Shoot, keep missing these fish. <laughs> There's so many fish down there though. That's crazy guys. Like look at the fish down there. I didn't even have the Aquaview camera running. It's a big one, biggest of the day. It's a good fish though. Here, I'll show you guys on big camera here. Alrighty guys, I just caught my biggest perch of the day. It's not a, not a, a tank tank, not a jumbo, but getting there. Super cool. Uh, colored up little guy actually but uh oh you spit out the mealworm but i think we're gonna put this guy back and uh try to get a bigger one so uh i guess i will get a release on the big camera here there's a really cool striped guy down there too that i've seen a couple times that i want to catch like he has like 
his stripes are kind of going horizontal. It's pretty neat. Come on. Like I said, I've been ripping these guys in half just just cause a bit big presentation when you have the full thing. So they really like it in the when you bounce in the mud and then you pull it up slowly. This is like so much fun. Like if you can do this, like if even if you don't have a camera, borrow buddies. I'm sure you, some of you guys know some people. Like don't buy a camera until you know that for sure you want one. But uh, it's I'm telling you right now, you're gonna like it. So. And the nice thing is too, is that now that I don't have my flasher in the hole anymore, I don't have to worry about pulling the transducer up if I catch a jumbo. What a great day. I turned the heater on. I'm not being a baby. I actually kind of needed it. It was a little bit, a little bit chilly in here. Not too bad, but. Fish are coming. Oh. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna stir it up down there, make some, uh, make some ruckus. And you can see these fish are just it's chaotic down there. If they don't eat out of the dirt, which I don't really expect them to because it's kind of muddy, and I pull it up and jig it away, and then as soon as I do that, then they just come in freaking, oh, I want that one. Come on. Got him. No! Oh, oh he's staring at it. Back up. Come on. No, that little guy got in the way. Come on, please drop it down in the mud again. That was so cool. They're biting so light, guys. Like it's so, it's crazy. Like they're just pecking it. That's something you don't usually wanna do is keep your tip up very high because when you're fishing for panfish, they're not gonna be very big, so you know you want to have your tip down low so you can keep that leverage, keep the momentum. Well, basically, you can see I've kind of showed you guys. Hopefully, you can kind of see that. But I'm just gonna cut them in half. Probably use the tail half first. Actually, no, I'll use a head half. More juice. I'm just gonna thread that on there. And yes, I know it can come off, but look at that. Like it. Look how much hook is exposed and look how it's not very long. So your hookup ratio is going to be a lot better. In theory, anyway. I mean, my hookup percentage is absolutely terrible, but, you know, stats and things and stuff. I don't really care when the small ones come off. It's those big ones I'm looking for. But as you can see, there's some, that's a bigger one. I hope you guys can see anyway. There's kind of a bigger one in the back. The big ones are not nearly as aggressive, though. They're a lot smarter. That one's coming in hot. Like, if you think about it, the bite's been slow considering how many fish are down there. Like, really slow. Like, I don't know why there's not more fish biting. They should be. Could just be the day, too. I know I've had days, a couple days ago, I was out here, caught over 100 fish, so. There's a lot of factors that can make the fishing not as good. But like they're still down there. It's just really the bite. I think what we're gonna do, guys, is if the fishing is kind of slow in here, I'm not gonna hesitate and go. I will move around outside, but I am gonna come back and do some more filming on this. So we'll see really what happens here. But come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's charging. Come on. Put a little spoon on here now, guys. It's a little pink PK spoon here. It's so crazy. Look how many fish are down there, guys. That is insane. Insane underwater footage. That is like so crazy. I've never seen this many fish on the screen before. Ever. Here's what I'm using, guys. You can't see it very good. It's a little PK spin. I should probably trim the tag end off. I don't have a knife on me. It's not a huge tag end, but I usually keep them pretty short. Caught one. What are you? Not very big. Cool, cool looking fish. Not big, but uh, we're working there. We've caught like a ton of fish today. I'm not gonna be able to put them on the video, obviously. The video would be hours long, but I'll put all the cool, cool uh, chases and stuff around. Bigger fish and stuff like that, so. I'm just dropping it down there. 
in the mud. I'm hoping that the spoon, by putting this on, the bigger fish will hit it instead. It's a little bit bigger presentation. There he is, guys. Awesome. Little chunker. He came in freaking flying. That was crazy. He hit it once, dropped it, came back, hit it a second time. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Well, the big camera just died. Let's probably plug it in and charge it for a second. You know what? I'm actually going to go fish outside now for a little while. Let the big camera charge up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna get everything situated here and then I'll see you guys in like five minutes outside. Let's go. Oh, it's a better one maybe. There you go. Alright guys, I'll kind of show you guys what I'm using here, so I'll show you guys like that. That is just a little tungsten jig, little Acme. Uh, this isn't the rattling one, this is just the normal tungsten jig. I've been using that with a little chunk of mealworm. And that is kind of, the little chunk is just because I'm shortening it up because these fish are being so picky. But another thing I've been using too is, this is going to be a hard one to show you guys, but it's just a little tiny PK spoon. Yeah, it's been working pretty good, but uh, yeah, the bite's been slow, but you know, we've still caught quite a few fish today. I'm not going to complain, but um, part of the reason that I've caught so many fish is because of my rod and my line that I'm using. So I'm using four pound test line on this uh, reel, but look how soft the tip is on that. Like it's crazy. You can really, that fish doesn't even know. Like it, when he picks up that hook, you have time to see that bite before. So. It's just little things like that that help you catch more fish. Ooh! Look at that little guy. All flared up. He's not big at all, but... See you later. That was a nice hook set. That was, that was nice. That was nice for a not nice fish. Ah, I mean, okay. The thing is, is that that's not a huge fish, but it's, it is bigger than if we were fishing somewhere else. Like, our average size is not that bad. Just chowed the uh, little PK spoon. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. We had an absolute amazing time out there. Um, and we got some absolutely insane underwater footage, guys. It's too bad the fish weren't biting. Um, I've been out there sometimes and we've had like 300 perch days. So it's basically just a day. Um, you know, that lake gets pressured pretty hard and that's kind of why I stay away from that body of water. Um, but you can always go out there and catch something. And there is big fish in there too. We saw some tanks on the underwater camera and it's just so much cooler watching them on the underwater camera. Um, but, you know, it was just crazy. But we ended up catching a lot of small fish that I just didn't even put in the video. Um, the whole point of the video is more showing you guys the fish on the camera than showing you guys actually me catching fish. And it, I thought it turned out absolutely great guys. Like there were so many fish on me. There was times I couldn't even see my hook because there were so many fish down there. So if you guys are looking to get an underwater camera, um, there's a lot of options. Just like that video I did a couple videos ago, I was kind of talking about the sonars. You know, there's a huge range of prices guys and you can go cheap cheap you can go really expensive as all that stuff um i will link the one i have in the description because i think it's a very very good model and um it's around 450 bucks so you're not blowing all your cash at once um but it just it's obviously great you guys saw the quality of footage it takes so yeah i thought it i think it's an absolutely great camera but uh you know i'll link a couple down there you guys can check them out all but that one has been very, very great for me. So uh, yeah, if you guys are looking to take out kids, perch fishing is absolutely great uh, way to get kids into fishing, guys. You know, you'll have a great day. 
You know, a lot of kids don't want to sit on the ice all day when you're fishing for walleye, fishing for pike. Um, a great way to get them started is fishing for perch. So, um, you know, once you get kids hooked, they're going to be hooked for life. So just uh, keep that in mind if you're thinking of bringing out children and bringing out someone who doesn't fish very much. Perch fishing is a great option, especially when you have an underwater cat. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll hopefully get back to uploading a bit more frequently for you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next fishing adventure. Take care, guys.